Hey fans, right here with us now, one half of the superpowers, the American dream, Dusty Rose Dusty. This is 1987, 86 is behind us. You know, Ole Anderson said you wouldn't be around to see 87. No, Ole Anderson came out and testified before the world that Dusty Rose, the American dream, would not be here in, at the end of 1986, would not see 1987. Ole Anderson fell short on his prediction. Rick Flair comes out here and talks about being the best that he can be. Two different occasions, Dusty Rhodes beat Ric Flair. Three times, Dusty Rhodes has been world's heavyweight champion. Tony Blanchard, world's TV champion, Dusty Rhodes. More times than you can count on your finger. Come out here with the executive director of marketing, Mr. James J. Dillon. I got a new pair of socks from my advisor and commandant, Mr. Paul Ellerin. I'm ready for 87. And Iron Anderson seems to have stepped to the front I now is talking more than any of the horsemen. Well, Iron Anderson, you were standing on a beach a year and a half ago with your feet in the sand or your head in the sand doing interviews, sitting under Mr. Crockett trying to get a hold, you understand? Trying to get a hold. Brother, when you start talking about how bad you are, think about Dusty Rhodes and McAdream in 87. Supposed to be lying prone out of wrestling, through whatever's going on. Now the superpowers Dusty Rhodes and Nikita Koloff take on a stronger task. In 1987, Ole Anderson will be your last year uh -oh. as a professional wrestler, as a professional athlete, as you know it. 87 belongs to Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, and Nikita Koloff and to my partners, the Road Warriors. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes fans, let's go to the ring. It happened in 86, but one of the constants is right here, still the world heavyweight champion, Nature Boy Ric Flair, and that warm-up outfit of the Lakers. Rick, I really believe you're a good enough athlete, you could be playing basketball well, with Well, Bob Carter, let me tell you how it goes. When you talk about great athletes, you're talking about the four horsemen. You're talking about Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I want to take this moment for a special thanks to my main man, James Worthy, who sends Ric Flair this, an official, an official warm-up suit of the Lakers. You know why? Not you, Dusty Rhodes. You know why? Because I'm the world champion. Not you, Nikita. That's right, Nikita. Not you, because you're not the world champion. Not you, Barry Windham. Not you, Brad Armstrong. Not you, Wally McDaniels. But me. Woo! Me, the world's heavyweight champion, standing here in the elite of our sport. You see, Bob Connell, I'm going to calm down for a minute because I want everybody to understand that everybody in our sport wants to be a big man. And you know how a lot of guys measure their success in our sport? By jumping on one of the four horsemen or all of the four horsemen. The problem with that is a lot of guys that are climbing that ladder never make it past the rung that says four horsemen. We are the best. Blanchard, a world champion. Flair, a world champion. Only an iron. The two toughest guys I know personally in this world. And J.J. Dillon, ha, with the brains, the management skills, James J has taken us all to success. So, boys, if you want some of us, jump on. We love dishing it out. You're 30 horsemen, the Minnesota record crew, Arn, Ole Anderson, Ole first. Dusty Rhodes says that 87 is going to see the end of you, Ole Anderson. Yeah, well, maybe. I'll tell you what. It's hard to catch a guy when he's running all the time. Rhodes has got the fastest bicycle in town. I talked about being the end of your life in 86, and the only reason you're still around Gavin is because you were always running, 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 and putting people in front of us. And you make a prediction about me being out in 87. You and what army? I'll tell you this, Rhodes. 87 comes. You be here. I'll I'm going to be here, but I guarantee this, one of us is going to be done in 87. One of us is sure going to be done. Arne. Oh, God, I'll tell you one person who's not going to be through in 87, and that's Arn Anderson. I don't care who else retires, who else gets hurt, who else gets crippled. I'll tell you one thing, I'm sick and tired of not being a champion. You say Dusty Rose a year and a half ago, I was standing on the sand flapping my yap. 
Well, Dusty Rhodes, in a year and a half, I came a long way, didn't I? I came a long way because I got right here something you'll never know about, Dusty Rhodes. It's being an Anderson. It's restoring the name Anderson where it should have been. You see Nikita Koloff, you go ahead and chase Ric Flair, but the whole time you're chasing, I'm going to be sneaking up behind you. One day, Nikita Koloff, you're going to wake up and you're going to be just like me right now. You're going to be standing there naked. Well, I'm not going to be naked very long, Nikita Koloff. Rest assured, I will be a champion, not because I want to be, because I have to be. All right fans, down to the ring.